Hi and welcome back to the channel. Offbeat Travel VK is back after a brief pause and this time I'm coming with a new series especially on helping you and guiding you to start a new YouTube channel, grow your subscriber base, make good content and eventually grow beyond the thousand subscriber mark which everyone is fighting for in this YouTube community and then eventually growing it bigger and better. So today I'm going to cover a few tips that at least I researched and I came up with and kind of like formulated that and today I'm going to share those with you and I will guide you on how I reached a thousand subscribers. So the first step that you need to understand before you create a YouTube channel is do not ever create a YouTube channel about yourself. The reason I say that is this is the most important step and uh, thing that you need to understand that people search on YouTube for content that they're looking for which is maybe about information, it may be about travel, it may be about politics and so on and so forth. So when you go out and put a YouTube channel and say, uh, I am so and so, these are the top 10 things I like, YouTube community doesn't know who you are, right? So they, so you will never be picked into the algorithm. People will not try to click on that, you know, unless you're a celebrity. So when you're like a normal YouTuber, you know, just like myself, you should always focus on creating content that will actually help the community. So it, it might be topic of your choice or topic that you're relevant with and you have passion around. So always move around your passion, right? Because you need to actually have interest in building this channel, right? If you cannot get through step one, then the rest of the steps won't make a difference. So step one, as I said, is create content that people are looking for. So now you might ask me, how do you even know that? What are the content that people are looking for? So I will actually show you tips and tricks how to do that. You can actually do this by going on to YouTube, youtube.com. And the trick to do that is you put an underscore type how to and it'll actually give you the algorithm for all the top videos that people are actually searching for today so for example how to tie a tie is one of the famous ones that people look for how to draw how to delete instagram account etc etc so you go down that list and see what are the how to videos that people make nowadays the other one that is very famous, at least in the YouTube algorithm, is versus videos. So iPhone or iPhone versus Android. So these are another set of videos that, that people constantly look for. And uh, they're always, always, you know, out there. So it could be anything. It could be a country versus country comparison or, you know, a phone versus phone or anything of that sort, right? So there are a bunch of things that people look for. And if some things suit your passion and it falls along that uh, line, go ahead and create those videos. So that is, you know, within step one types of videos that people make and actually people look for. The third type of video is our general listicle videos, right? What I mean by listicle videos is top 10, destinations. So if you look at that, listicle videos are a video comprising of things that explain to you what are the top 10 destinations in the world, what are the top 10 destinations in India, etc, etc. Destinations is just an example. Um, what are the top places to visit in, in the United States of America would be another one. What are the top things that you, sh you need to do to grow a YouTube channel? That is another example. So these are the basic steps to creating a successful YouTube channel. And this was just step number one. Step number two is data-driven insights. This is actually really, 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 really important. So let me show you my own dashboard and everything that you need to know about your channel are in two places. One is your YouTube channel dashboard. So it's within the YouTube studio. And then the second thing is your YouTube channel that is displayed to everyone outside. So I will come to this, this later. I will show you what you need to look for within your YouTube channel to grow your YouTube channel. So you should always focus on, of course, this is the dashboard. This is what you see. You always focus on number one, serving your YouTube community. 
So always make sure you reach out and respond to comments as necessary. Like I always try to reach out and respond to my comments. So you can see the latest comments come up here. Of course, uh, the content that you create. Uh, this is like one of the main tabs where you kind of see how each video is doing uh, amongst each other uh, with the date stamp, timestamp, the number of likes, dislikes, number of comments, and of course the total number of views. And uh, you kind of can see what video does better, what content does better and compare amongst your own content and videos within your YouTube channel to see what is the best content that your customers and viewers are liking. You need to make content for the viewers. So the other way that I told you that you can look on what people are actually looking for on your channel, right? So you created a channel, you, you put together all the things that I told you, you put together like 10 videos. Um, it's really important to keep posting as well, right? I'll, I'll cover that at a later step. But the reason I tell you that is when you keep posting videos and when you go to the videos tab, there is one secret that you should always do every often. And that is you sort by the most popular. So when you see this sort by most popular, it actually arranges everything that has the highest number of views on your channel to the lowest. What this tells you is this kind of gives you a data driven insight that says, these type of videos on your channel are heavily viewed. People love them. People give a lot of comments and like thumbs up. All these kind of put you in the map of YouTube, right? So you really need to work on this before your channel even grows, right? Don't even think about getting to a thousand subscribers before creating at least 20 to 25 videos and then constantly post them every often and kind of see what people like, what people dislike, uh, take feedback from your comments, take feedback from all your um, uh, YouTube viewers from the community tab. I'll show you that as well. That's something new that came up. You can leverage the community tab for a lot of other things. And the data that comes up here, for example, how to apply for overseas citizen of India within the travel forum, kind of has the most views for me, right? So this kind of put me on the map of YouTube and it has helped me a lot to grow my channel. So you can see top to bottom. And then of course, certain videos that are like towards the bottom might be some of your old or, you know, like videos that are like a little older and might have less views, but always, always try to improve your content based on your customers. That is your YouTube viewers, your data that comes back from YouTube studio and of course making better content, improving yourself every time that is really necessary to grow your channel successfully. So the other thing that I wanted to show you within step two, which is data driven decisions is the community tab. Every often I do this and I kind of use this as a feedback mechanism. I put out surveys. So I basically put out polls and ask just like here, what what's the next video you want to discuss so i have visa and travel related doc uh, related videos i have travel blogs which are core travel blogs help you know help you travel from one place to another then i have certain drone videos which don't have any commentary and then any other suggestion if you want i i have asked to comment below so from a few votes even if it's 10 votes, you kind of gauge and the viewers want, right? And then travel vlogs kind of get the most hits and you, that's where I go back. And when I travel, I make more travel vlogs, right? So this is a great way to leverage direct feedback from all your viewers. So these are the things that you need to do when you want to grow your YouTube channel. The other thing that I wanted to cover, you know, the third step, is set targets. So I will show you a tab which kind of helped me level set my own trajectory of getting YouTube subscribers. And I'm gonna go to the audience tab, right? You need to know your audience, you need to know what content they like, and then you need to make sure you're making better and better videos. So if you just compare, uh, I'm just gonna go back a third 365 days 
and I'm going to show you this, which is very, very important. Um, people, so I will, I started my YouTube channel on 15th of August, 2020, which was almost, you know, close to two years ago. I wanted to do this uh, after a period of time so that I can actually show you the data because sometimes YouTube takes a while to, to get retroactive data. So when I really started my YouTube channel, um, for the first few days, you won't get many views because you're a brand new channel. The algorithm hasn't picked you up yet. And of course, this is the time where you can forward it to your family and friends and like have a few people subscribe to your channel, share your content, get those initial views so that you kind of go into the map to begin with. After a while, you will learn that there might not be any increment in your viewership. So this is what happened. For example, I started out with four videos in like quick successions. And then I got initial, this bump that you see here. And then I kept posting, posting, right? All these gray boxes are posting, 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 constantly posting two videos, three videos, one video. And I want to stop here at this juncture, which is 16th of March, 2021. If on this day, I would have decided that nobody's watching my videos and I posted almost 30 videos at this stage. And I'm like, nobody likes my content. Why? And I could have quit back then, but I did not, right? The key success of a YouTube channel is constantly posting videos. So if I had actually stopped on the 16th of March, there was a very good chance that my channel would have never grown. But then something happened, right? I kept constantly posting. And then of course you see the blue dot is the new visitors. And then the purple one is the returning visitors. So initially you obviously want to grow your new visitors because you're no, you know, you're not there anywhere on YouTube. I kept posting. And then this happened when I posted these two videos right here at the end of March. It, I just fell onto the algorithm and I got a huge spike of almost 817 views on one video, which kind of picked up and people started recognizing my work. So people watched my new video and then they used to go back, they used to subscribe and then they used to go back and watch all of my old videos. That's when the ball started rolling. So for the first eight months, when you start your YouTube channel, you wouldn't expect, or you shouldn't expect a lot of subscribers and a lot of views because your videos are still behind the line um, with other YouTube channels, right? Your, your content is still not uh, picked it up in the system. And like, you know, there are 10 other videos potentially that, you know, have the same content or better content. So you kind of get bumped down. So once you cross that path, you will get picked up, right? And then if you see my channel constantly, and again, I never stop posting videos. I've always, always, always believed that posting videos is the key. And I've almost posted 80 videos and I continue, keep continuing to do the same. And then I've had constant flow of users that come back, people who actually watch my videos and leave comments and also give me feedback. That is really important. And as far as subscribers are concerned, if you want to get to the first thousand, do not focus on the thousand subscribers, focus on your content. So definitely set targets for the first 12 months. You're like, Hey, I need hundred subscribers every month. So in 10 months, technically you should have that. But if it goes off by a month or two, don't be discouraged. You can always get subscribers if your content is good. So focus on your content. Don't worry about subscribers. The subscribers will come. Definitely I've been in that same boat. And if you see that same, same trend continues across subscribers, because initially you share your channel with a few people that, you know, they subscribe some, you know, some leave. And then when, when that same spike happened, you see that after end of March, every single day I've constantly had subscribers. People look at your content, they, they come back, you know, they rewatch your video, they like your video, they give you a thumbs up, they hit the subscribe button. So you kind of build that trust. And if you see after that, you know, initial eight months of nothing, there's been constant growth in the channel. And of course, I'm right now at 100, 1500 subscribers and still growing. And this is why I wanted to make the content because this is super important to know. The other thing that you could do to grow your channel, which is step four 
is create social media buzz right you you need another presence outside of youtube to kind of get people in onto youtube couple of things that you can do is you can create your own website right you can create it on wix.com or you can create it on any other platform that you feel you can you know you can put up a website and put up a facebook page which i did i mean i did not create a website for myself but i think my facebook page also helped me a lot because users reach out to me on facebook on my travel travel channel page and um, some they they message me they email me etc they can find all your information here i post regular content and i post all my posted videos here so that people from facebook come to my youtube channel watch it find my videos and then later subscribe you can create same pages in instagram uh you can promote it on any other social media that you're a fan of you know, maybe tiktok or snapchat or any other ones that you like make sure you have an extra additional set of legs outside of youtube right this helps a lot and this is really really important so the other the other thing that i wanted to focus on is really goes down to the base and i'm going to show you here on one of the videos so when you create a video uh, of course you have to wear so many hats you have to wear the video recording hat you have to be good at speaking in front of a camera you have to be having good editing skills uh, music skills you know you you need to know when to publish your videos which is super important the the thing that's really really basic is within a video you need to do these few things right so i will actually show you the thing that you should always do religiously before you post a video so i'm going to pick one video which has a decent amount of views and i'm going to show you what is really really important but i wanted to cover the high level things that you should always do before you post a video so when you post a video or before you post it the number one thing you need to do is make a really good thumbnail the reason the thumbnail is important is the thumbnail is your concierge it is an image that actually helps people click to even come to your video so if you do not have a thumbnail or if you just pick one of the thumbnails that is on the video which is super, not super attractive people will never click on it because the first impression is the last impression you need to take some time create a beautiful thumbnail i will go over how to create a thumbnail in another video within this training and i'll show you exactly how to make a beautiful thumbnail thumbnail is really important before the thumbnail the thing that you really need to zero in on is the title your title needs to be very concise informative at the same time it should give them enough information that they can understand what video this is for always make sure you give a very concise and precise title if there is any date related items always try to put the year in there and make sure that people understand what you're trying to say when somebody reads this you know my n400 timeline from application to naturalization everybody understands the keyword here is timeline and that is the same keyword that you take it on to your thumbnail number 1 title number 2 thumbnail the description description is super super important you need to give a concise description of what this video is going to talk about and if possible try to create segmented chapter of what minute to what minute ca is covered here so even if you can give a brief description of these are the steps that are going to be covered in the video and link any pages or pdfs that people need to refer to in case they want to get some information after watching your video so make sure you always give this information and the other thing that you can use the description for really important thing is cross pollinating your own channel so after they watch the video and they go through the the description and they see hey by the way this guy has really cool like travel series you know like from greece and croatia and slovenia or like you know any other series that person will be able to click here and then they can go to the playlist for your other content so it helps you grow your channel a lot so make sure you focus on description you can add all your social media handles which will again kind of help people to discover you on other social media and they will reach out to you as needed and that is really really important and then the last A really important thing before you publish a video is when you go to show more is the tags there is a high chance that you might even neglect this you might not even take any action some people might just leave it blank this is one of the most important things to make your video discoverable on youtube this is the way people actually find you on youtube 
So people, these are the short sentences or important words or terms that you need to add as tags that people like look on YouTube to you know search content. Like naturalization timeline, naturalization application, N400, N400 naturalization timeline. And there are neat tools that guide you in this. You will grow into writing this and you will know what needs to be written here as you create content. This needs to be solely focused on what this video is about. And these are the terms that another person would try to search to kind of get to your video. So that is really important. You need to like zero in on this and try to create if any of you have not created this for your past videos, try to go and add this on each video. And I will cover the tags training in a separate video because that is a lot to deal with on itself. And I will show you how to do it. And there are certain tools that you can use as well for your support to begin with. And then you will actually get better with this. So this is really important. And after this, the most important thing that I already covered is something that I already mentioned, keep posting videos. So I will show you the number of videos uh, I have posted. If you look at my channel on the main page, I have posted almost 77 or 80 videos. If I'm not wrong, you need to keep posting videos. You need to keep putting your content out in YouTube. Every other day, somebody else is creating a potential similar video or content. And if you don't create that, their channel is kind of going to go up. So if you want to reach a thousand subscribers, follow these steps that I covered today. And I'm pretty sure within some time you will get to thousand subscribers. And the other thing that a lot of YouTube YouTubers might not know, which I wanted to cover is in order to unlock monetization, you do not only need to reach thousand subscribers, you actually need almost 4,000 hours of watch time. So if you go to the analytics tab, I want to quickly cover that. So you will not be, your channel will not be monetized. If you only have a thousand subscribers, you need to have a thousand subscribers, step one, and you need to have 4,000 hours of publicly watched content within a rolling period of last 12 months. So if you look at my videos, or my channel overall till date, I've had 18,000 hours of people who have watched my content. And I thank each and every subscriber, viewer, everybody who's clicked on my video. This is thanks to you. And then I've had 1500 subscribers overall. I would love to grow the subscribers. I think the thing that took me to the next level was the watch time. The more engaged your YouTube uh, channel is, the more YouTube will promote. If people click on, or videos and just leave after 10 seconds, YouTube is gonna drop you down because they want people to watch longer videos. So always keep that in mind when you wanna grow your YouTube channel, follow these steps and I'm pretty sure you'll be successful. And if you have, please drop in a comment. I would love to learn your feedback. And if you think that there are certain things that I've missed here, do drop it in the comments. Let's discuss that in the next video. And I will be coming back very soon with another informative video to take your channel to the next level. Till then, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Take care.